Welcome back to another installment of Underappreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed the first three because we're not going to stop there. Today's feature is someone I admired watching on the floor for the LA Lakers in the early to mid-90s. He goes by the name of Nick Van Exel, a.k.a. Nick the Quick, a.k.a. Nick at Night. He went to St. Joseph's High School in Kenosha, Wisconsin from 1987 to 1989. He recorded 1,282 points as a player for the school, scoring the majority of the points his senior year with 772. He led the WISAA state tourney for private schools in scoring as a junior and senior when his team lost in the finals both years. He was named to the AP All-State team as a senior. Due to academic reasons, he attended Trinity Community College for two years, then enrolled to the University of Cincinnati. Upon his arrival, Cincinnati was not a team you took lightly. They finished the season 29-5. and They won their conference tournament. Nick Van Exel averaging 12.3 points per game, 2.9 assists per game, led his team to the Final Four, where they lost to Michigan's Fab Five. His senior year, he improved on his averages for points and assists. He was now averaging 18.3 points per game and 4.3 five assists per game. They finished the season 27-5. and five. They won their conference tournament again, but lost in the Elite Eight to the University of North Carolina. He was named to the All-American third team. He was also a finalist for Player of the Year, unfortunately losing the award to Cal Cheney. He was once Cincinnati's all-time leader in three-pointers made, 147, attempted, 411, and percentage, 35.8%. Since then, the records have been broken too to how the game has changed since he played college hoops. He was also also inducted to the University of Cincinnati's Hall of Fame. He was drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers in the second round as the 37th pick overall. The Lakers were rebuilding and they felt Nick the Quick and Eddie Jones can lead the rebuild. They brought their own type of flair to the game that wasn't like the Showtime Lakers. They were affectionately called the Lake Show. His career average as a Laker is 14.9 points per game, 7.3 assists per game. He finished in the top 10 twice in the assist category. After a good rookie season, he was honored by being being part of the all-rookie team of that year. After his Laker tenure, he was traded to the Denver Nuggets where he had his best numbers as a professional. He averaged 17.7 points per game and 8.4 assists per game and averaged 21.4 points per game in a 45-game span. That's impressive during a time when defenders were allowed to hand check. His stint with the Mavericks is probably the beginning of his twilight years as a professional. He was still contributing with an average of 12.5 points per game and averaging 20.3 points per game in the 03 playoffs, recording 36 points in Game 2 and a 40-point performance in Game 3. Unfortunately, the Mavericks couldn't pull it off that year. Shortly after that, he was traded to the Warriors, Blazers, then the Spurs. He announced his retirement after his 13th year. He ended his career as a one-time All-Star, and looking back, it bugs me out how come he didn't get into more All-Star games. Whatever the reasons may be, all I know is Nick the Quick did his thing at the amateur and pro level of hoops. Not too many folks mention Nick Van Exel when they're talking about point guards or or even Lakers point guards. That is the reason why he's part of the under underappreciated series. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Leave a comment on who you think I should highlight next. I'm DSP. This is underappreciated. I truly appreciate you. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.